Hey guys, so for this video I'll be unboxing and reviewing and also talking a little bit about my collection plans for this year and a little bit about um, just upcoming videos. <coughs> so just stick around after I unbox that if you want to just hear about my thoughts on some other things because I usually just want to just update as much as possible. So I actually ordered this a month ago and I'm just really happy that it arrived. It arrived like a couple of days ago, but since Florida is under war or was under hurricane um, emergency, uh, I just kind of wanted to wait until just my area got cleared off. So I am just glad that everyone was safe in my neighborhood. Um, and for those who are also in Florida and um, suffer some damage in your homes, I really hope that uh, all of that gets fixed really soon and that everyone stays safe. Uh, stay safe because. You know, these things are just just so out of the blue. But maybe I'll just discuss that on another video. But yeah, so here is the front and the back. Um, this is her first and only mini album so far. Um, <coughs> and before I start unboxing, I always like making comparisons to size. Uh, for those who are kind of curious how big the album is. So compared to a jewel case, this is how big it is. So this kind of follows that classic K-pop packaging. Um, so yes, this comes with five tracks and the title track is Dirty, which is highlighted in or just the font is pink. And here's a photo of Medio. Again, here's the disc. Um, I always talk about these little plastic CD holders. They're the worst. So. Again, I'm going to take good care of this so it doesn't get damaged. Ugh. Talking about damage. So here's the first page. I would like the cover. Track list again. This sort of style just reminds me a lot. Um, it just takes me back. Of what um, a lot of K-pop, of how K-pop was like when I first got into it, because everybody was kind of doing just quirky little costumes. I mean, they still do, but I feel like it's a different feel. Well, for, at least for me. But these pictures are great. Um, I really want to hear more from her. So, oh, special thanks to. Narsha, Narsha, Gary, mm, Luna Fly, The Knox, Sunny. Yeah, and here's the kind of like the credits. Yeah. So, just my overall review for this. As for the packaging, this is good packaging, except for that plastic CD holder thing that I always complain about always better than a jewel case um good track listing for a mini album five songs all really good in my opinion um this is kind of again um it has that old old k-pop or not even old k-pop feel like second generation sounding k-pop so if you got into k-pop around that time you're gonna really enjoy this album um and if you really haven't really gotten to listen to much of k-pop or how k-pop was back like how K-pop was back like, how K-pop was like back then, then you'll, um, I guess, uh, maybe you'll like it. But I highly recommend listening to this. Um, all the songs are really good. Party Rock is a good um, introduction to the album. Um, Dirty. Um, I like the fact that she went just alone by herself because, as you can see, she has feature. She features other artists in the other tracks, but Dirty is is all by herself, and that's like the single that she promoted. Then we got Saranghe Saranghe with uh, Sunny from Girls Generation, which I really like. That um, uh, I really enjoy this collaboration because you never really, you rarely get to hear Sunny feature on other songs. Um, and it just highlights how good her voice is. So I highly recommend that one as well. 
Revenger fe- featuring Lunafly, and Lego with Narsha. I really like Lego as well, um, but highly recommend listening to this. So kind of like I was saying in the beginning of this video with my just collection planning and all of that. Um, as of right now, I really haven't ordered anything because uh, I'm kind of waiting uh, to see what comebacks are announced and confirmed. So, you know, I can save uh, a bit of money to, you know, buy those albums. And obviously, as you can see, this is a really old album. I think it's five years old now. I think it was released uh, 2012. I am getting, I'm just catching up on whatever I have left for my ultimate bias group. So if you don't know, Brian and Gross is one of them. And I really dedicated a lot of my money last year to Dombang Shinki. And uh, this year I kind of promised myself just to catch up on Brian and Girls. Because they don't have a huge collection, but... Uh, I was just missing random things, so right now I'm only missing jazz uh, solo album and some few other things that are kind of not extremely important, but if I ever see them at a good price, I will be buying them very soon. Hopefully I do complete everything that I need from them by next year, at the end of the year. Um, um, that's kind of one of my plans. Um, and then not necessarily buying a lot of albums um, near the end of the year because um, it just doesn't seem like a lot of people are necessarily coming back that I completely just absolutely love because uh, other than just legendary groups like Super Junior and Don Banjiki and even Don Banjiki extended their comeback to next year. So I really don't really have anything to look forward to other than um, maybe shiny, and again, like I, I think that even, that might even be postponed because of the whole Onu um scandal. Uh, and I'm really happy that um, were well for the idols that are kind of on the older generation. A lot of them have been very successful um with their comebacks. With uh, Sunmi just completely um doing extremely well so I'm really proud of her and I'm glad that um, she has survived kind of just this whole uh, a cop, uh, apocalypse of just older K-pop groups completely going um, extinct basically uh, and obviously I'm waiting on a a maybe a solo comeback from Kain or maybe a Brown Eyed Girls comeback um, I don't know if that will happen this year with obviously the incident with Kain at the beginning of the year and Brian and girls just taking um, this long breaks before any other comeback that they do. And Narsha did just get married. Um, so who knows about that. But I don't think they'll be disbanding any th or anything. And I'm just desperately waiting on a new news from Girls Generation um, to see who stays and who leaves. And yeah, so obviously all the groups that I completely love, I'm going to be buying things from. Um, it's, I think it's very likely for me to get Chief Friends, uh, repackage, and, uh, who else? Temin was rumored, and I don't know if there's any news on that, but whenever that's announced, probably Temin and G Friend. Mm. But yeah, I just don't, I don't know if I'll be buying a lot. I'm gonna, I'm really picky with what I'm buying, um, lately, but I did stock up on a lot of new releases that I enjoyed this year and older things like this So I'll include this in a haul as well and obviously whatever I get I'll be unboxing uh, on my channel um, Let's see what else uh, I did upload uh, those uh, How I stored my K-pop albums which were highly requested uh, for a long time so I'm really glad that I was able to upload that and my collection video is almost done. I've, I, I'm just doing things for school. So, uh, once I finish uh, my exams for this week, I'll be finishing up that video because I just don't want to make um, just dumb mistakes for it. And yeah, so again, if you have any um, other questions or you want to request a certain type of video, 
um, please comment down below. Um, I always try to answer as fast as possible. And oh, and then I'll also be uploading a a sale video as well for um, this month. Um, so if you're interested in buying a K-pop album, um, mostly just K older K-pop albums. Um, just look forward to that video, especially if you live in the U.S. because it's the U.S. only. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know I rambled a little bit about um, just random things, but that's just a, like an update on what's really going on with the channel and just things that I'll be purchasing um, for upcoming videos. So... Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And again, I highly, highly recommend listening to anything from the Rhino Girls, but this is a great solo album. Bye guys.